going on, everybody? This your boy, your man's Art Mindy, you know what I'm saying, bro? And of course, I'm in my room slash game room right now. Excuse the glare, I got like a crack on my phone right there. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing y'all my whole video game collection. That's what this video is about today, because I know a lot of people have been wondering what all do I have in my collection from my consoles to my games to my accessories, etc., etc. So I'm going to be showing y'all all that today. I've been collecting since 2009, so that's like 11 years, so it's a lot, <laughs> but I'm excited, man, to show y'all like my passion, everything that I've collected over the years, man, it's exciting, so I'm ready. You ready? Then, <laughs> let's it go! And this video is sponsored by... Darkness. And moving on to this section... This is where I keep all my extra consoles and all the systems that I can't hook up to my TV because I don't have enough space <laughs> on my entertainment system, like my TV stand. I put them all at the bottom of these cabinets. And right here, as you can see, this is my figure wall and a couple of DVDs Things everywhere. over there. So let's move on to cabinet number one. Number one. In here, I have like extra controllers, like my Sega Dreamcast controllers, Sega Genesis uh, AC adapters, like the power cables, the AV cables. And on this side, I have extra Xbox 360 hard drives, extra power cables for the Xbox 360, extra wires, like charging cables, the original Xbox controllers, two of them. And down here, I have the Xbox 360 Elite Black System. And I have the original Xbox right there with the play and charge kit for the Xbox One. An HDMI cable with also an extra Dreamcast system. And my Sega Genesis is back there. Sega. Just try to keep everything nice and neat because I'm very OCD <laughs> when it comes to uh, my collectibles and my systems. And here... This is all my PlayStation stuff. PlayStation. Okay, right there in the corner, I have extra PlayStation power cables, like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3. AV cables, extra controllers over there. Controller. Down here, I have the 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3, which is another rare console. This one also plays PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. This one just doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi like the 60 gigabyte does. You have to hook your Ethernet cable to it in order to get on the internet on this system. And right here, I have an extra PlayStation 2. And move this out the way. And I have two PlayStation 1s for backup. In case one of them goes out, I have another one so I can keep on playing. And that is my PlayStation 3 controller, two PlayStation 2 controllers, and my PS1 controller in the back. And this is my Nintendo section. Nintendo! Right up top, I got my Super Nintendo controllers, my Super Famicom controller right there, my NES controllers, the original NES controllers back there with the zapper right there. 64 controllers, have the zapper right here. Still looks in great condition. I try to keep all my stuff like looking pristine and like new even though it's older and vintage. I'm trying to keep the dust away, man. Yeah. And here I have the 64 controllers. I have four of them, I have the see-through purple, I have two gray ones and I have the yellow one. And right there I have my Wii controllers, my 64 AV cable, my GameCube controllers, I have two of those, my mini Super Nintendo controllers for the Super Nintendo Mini, my Wii Classic controller right there, and then my Switch Joy-Con grip, which I only really even use, and my GameCube adapter for my Switch for when when my boys want to get smashed on, you feel me? And smash, brother. Yeah, you know, Mario all day. Fire! <laughs> Let me stop playing. And down here, I have 
my 64 memory cards for my Nintendo 64. Let me put those up there. And right here, I have two original Nintendo Wii systems. I have my NES Mini and my Super NES Mini. And right there, I have my Japanese Super Nintendo, the Super Famicom, which is another very, very rare console. I have two GameCubes. I have the silver one and I have the black one. And I have both Super Nintendo consoles, the second model and the original model. And I have the original NES right there. So yeah, man. It's a lot. <laughs> but it's far from over. Because I still have many other consoles to get and many other games to get. And this is just extra. This is just for like extra accessories. Like my charge station for my Wii remotes. The Wii Zapper for when I want to play like real gun games on the Wii. The Wii steering wheel. I have my Switch case from uh, Breath of the Wild. I got this in a special edition of Breath of the Wild. It came with this carrying case, which is pretty dope. Fire! I have my HDMI cable, another HDMI cable. My uh, Switch case to where I want to play tabletop version and sit my Switch in this to play on top of a table. Then in there, just some extra wires for the Super Nintendo, the 64, and the original Nintendo. And that is all my extra consoles and my wires. Ba 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 ba! Let's pick off. All right, my beautiful people. What we have here is my main video game setup yes, right uh... here on this 43-inch Samsung 4K Ultra HD TV. I bought this TV actually last year because the price went down so much with all the new technology and TVs that's getting ready to come out, like 8K and all this other new stuff. I waited to get this TV because I have like spent all that money when the 4K TVs first came out, so I waited. And okay, so my first console is the limited edition Spider-Man PS4 Pro. With the red finish with the white Spider-Man symbol in the middle. Beautiful console. And right here is a controller that's made strictly for GameStop employees. I'm currently a assistant manager at GameStop here in Texas. And right here we have my Nintendo Switch. And right here to the far right is the Xbox One X. My baby. Yeah. And down here we have the Xbox 360 E model, which was the last model they released before they moved on to the Xbox One. And right here is the backwards compatible PS360 gigabyte. Fire! This one plays PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. And this system right here is very, very rare. Like this system costs a lot online. Big bags! <laughs> if you come baby. across one, you're lucky. And right here, this little slot, you could put like SD cards and like the memory stick from the original PSP. You get to put that right there. And it also has like four USB ports right there as well with the chrome finish. Love that system. Right down here, we have one of my favorite systems of all time. Top three, top three, top three. PlayStation 2, the two memory cards. One of the memory cards is for PlayStation 1, which is the one to the far right. Down here, this is another one of my favorite consoles of all time on my top three, Sega Dreamcast and my Nintendo 64. And down here, that's my Xbox 360 controller. And that is my main setup as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on into my closet now. This right here. I actually got this from somebody at my job. Like they was finna throw it away because I guess they didn't know what they had or they was just trying to clean out their uh, garage. And they was thinking like we took it in as a trade, but we was like, no, we don't take stuff like that. And he was like, oh, I just throw it away. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me have that. Let me, let me make use of that. <laughs> don't throw this away. This is, this is vintage. Easy. But uh, anyway, this is where I keep all my Nintendo 64 games in. And right here, this is the PlayStation Classic, still sealed, never been opened, still in the box. Like, I have yet to open this thing. 
I caught it on the sale at my job whenever we started to sell it for twenty dollars because it wasn't selling like nobody wasn't buying it. And right back there, that is my Spider-Man PS4 Collector's Edition. Like when that game came out, I spent I kid you not at least about six hundred close to seven hundred dollars just on Spider-Man material because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Big facts, my baby. favorite comic book character besides Wolverine. And right here, let me pull it off. This is my Tekken 5 fight stick for the PS2. So whenever I'm playing fighting games on my PS2, I just hook that up. I will organize that whenever I get it, <laughs> whenever I decide to play it again. And right here, this is for my PS3 and my PS4. This is my Street Fighter 5 fight stick. And right up there in the corner, this is a Japanese imported fight stick for the Super Nintendo that my store manager gave to me for my birthday. Like my birthday just passed last month on the 14th. I just made 26. And this is strictly Japanese imported, like, seriously. Straight from Japan. And he gave it to me. And this was in his collection, so I'm like, are you serious? Like, what? But hey, man. Like my manager always told me, it's my aura that attracts people to it. So, I guess you could say I'm a beautiful soul. Yes, Lord. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta find out my rainbow. Because of... All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the grand finale. Yeah, love. The one and only video game section. Because of. Dinner. I've got the magic in me. Let me stop playing. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I am about to show my whole physical copy video game collection right here right now let's do this all right let me move this out the way that'll be my newest game i'm gonna start with the nes okay right here we have the original legend of zelda the gold cartridge retro right there yes and then we have metroid Two copies of Super Mario Bros. Slash Duck Hunt. I have Super Mario Bros. 2. And one of my favorites, Super Mario Bros. 3. God. Ninja Turtles. Uh, the track and field game, World Class Track Meet. And then we're moving on over to the Super NES. We have Clay Fighter, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 2, which is another one of my favorites. And then I have two Super Famicom games, the Japanese import Super Nintendo games. I have Super Mario Kart right there. Fix that. And Street Fighter 2 once again. And then we're moving over and over. Ah, we're moving on over <laughs> to the Sega Genesis right there. I have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. I am a huge Power Ranger fanatic. Love Power Rangers. Big fans, Red Ranger baby. game all day, you already know. Tyrannosaurus, let's get it. But anyway, got Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and I have the Knuckles, uh, Sonic and Knuckles expansion for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 to add Knuckles to the game. I have Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic Spinball, and once again, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. And then we're gonna move over to the PS1 games. All right, let's start from here. SmackDown 2, SmackDown 1, X-Men Mutant Academy 2, X-Men Mutant Academy 1, Twisted Metal 3, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Tenchu Stealth Assassins, Tenchu 1, Tekken 3, then we have Bloody Roar, Dino Crisis, Dino Crisis 2, Resident Evil 2, Soul Blade, 